Hello, friends. We are so glad you're all here with us today and then Getty Kids Online. And we're kicking off a brand new month. Woo-hoo. And by the way, welcome, Miss Jane. Thank I'm glad you. you're here too. Me but too. we're kicking off a new month. And do you love candy? I love do you all love candy? candy? Look what's behind us. I remember when I was a kid. My grandpa would take me to the candy Aww. shop and I would fill up a bag with all my favorites. I used to go to the candy store when I was little too. Yes. I loved picking out my own unique mix of candy. It was like my own custom creation. Ooh, you know what? Hmm. You and I are custom creations too, Miss Jane. All of you are custom creations. And when God made each one of us, he gave us our own individuality and he did it for a reason. That brings up our new life app for this month. Yay. It's individuality. Oh, that's a big word. Oof. Individuality is discovering who you're meant to be so you can make a difference. Nice. And God made each and every one of us special mm-hmm. and different from wow. one another. Maybe he made you with brown eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe he gave you a really good singing voice or a funny personality. You know, as you grow up, you are going to decide discover all that God made you for. That's right. He made you for you. In all of history, there has never been and there will never be anyone else just like you, Miss Jane. No one like you, Miss Jane. And God made each each one of us completely individual. And I think we should play a game about that. that. I think we should use this candy here and we should make self-portraits let's okay. just make a self-portrait yeah with you. candy oh with just me, with yes. me okay All right what would we what would we start with right now we have a very blank okay. piece of paper what do we need hmm. well we need to look at your hair your hair is is beautiful oh thank you it's a curl yellow gel. it's a blonde color kind of so yeah what do you think yeah that your could be the could yellow be... for the hair i can help with that what do you think about like adding you really don't have brown but I have a little brown a few little highlights yeah a little brown you're gonna unwrap it I I have to unwrap it I can't have the Tootsie Roll wrapper as part of my hair (laughs) or my whatever that would not look so hot could add a little bit of brown to the top because that's where my roots are from my hair oh so So there's the hair so what else do we need let me look in your eyes what color are your eyes bluish green Huh. How about, how hmm. about, oh, I got bluish. I got, look, I've Perfect. got all jelly these bellies. jelly bellies in here that yes. I think. So I'm going to pull out some blue colors. Oh, here's an, two eyes right there. One. Isn't it amazing two. how many different color eyes there are? Yeah, even blue. Even if I have blue eyes, someone else's eyes could be a different kind a different of blue. Because mine are actually kind of a blue-green color, not true blue. You know what I mean? Hmm. Do you think my nose is big or little? I think your nose is little. So we need a little you have something. A cute little nose. Something for the nose. Hmm. Do you want just do you want to have a skittle nose? Yeah, let's do a skittle nose. Oh, you're so pretty. Okay, now you got the mouth. I'm giving you this beautiful red lips because my lips are not red, but that's okay. <laughs> They're sort of pinkish colored. Do we have any pinkish? No, that yeah. Well, sometimes you wear lipstick and then you that's have true. red lips. Wow, Miss Anna Banana. You, Let's see how I look. What you do you guys are think? way more beautiful. It's in upside person. down to everybody. Oh dear. Let's turn it around. Okay. There's our portrait of Miss Anna Banana. I think we should have put a banana in there. Oh, that would have been a great idea. Yeah, it would have been a fabulous you know, idea. It doesn't look exactly like you. That's but okay. It's still beautiful and unique. It has some of your unique features, your individuality. You're nice. And you did a good job helping me. It was fun. And I like I like different candies. That's fun to work with different candies and make a new creation. Um, And God made us to be creators like he's a creator. Right. And he created each and every one of us. So we get to create things, too. Okay, that is such a good thing about yeah. our verse. It's Psalm 139, verse 14. Yay. It's all month long, and it says, How you made me is amazing and wonderful. Wow. I praise you.
you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. How? Wow. Maybe we should say it together. Let's say it. Okay. How, How you made, made me is amazing and wonderful. And wonderful. I, I praise you for that. What, what you, you have, have done is wonderful. wonderful. I, I know that very well. Psalm 139, 14. Did you know that there was a time when the world and the earth was empty? A time when mm-hmm. nothing had been created yeah. yet. Well, that's where our story starts today. In wow. the very beginning of the Bible, in the book of Genesis. Ooh, I it love says that, Bible. that God created the world. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then this is amazing. Out of nothing, God made everything. Wow. And that's Genesis 1-3. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that actually is amazing because he can make something out of nothing, but yes. we cannot do that. And before we learn our Bible story today, I want to tell you guys something. It's coming up soon. Mm. It's coming up in November. Oh, Thanksgiving. Woo! No, no not Thanksgiving. Not Thanksgiving. Oh. That's on a Thursday. This is on a Sunday. Oh. We're having a baptism service. <gasps> baptism? In November. Yeah. That's, cool. That's next month. Do you think everyone knows what baptism is all about? Mm, I don't know. Hmm. I can explain it. Ooh, just to make awesome. sure that we all yes. understand that baptism is like a picture of what Jesus has done for us. Mm-hmm. When we decide to accept God's gift of salvation, that means we understand that Jesus died for us, Uh was buried, and then was brought back to life three days later. Yeah. When a believer goes into the water, it represents that their old self is dead because of sin. And it's just buried. So when the person is raised up out of the water, it represents the way Jesus brings us into a new life because we have faith in him. Oh, that's beautiful. And because Jesus died for our sins and was raised again, we can die to sin Mm -hmm. and we receive new life through Jesus. Exactly. Jesus never sinned. He never did anything wrong. But you know what? He was baptized. Yeah, Mm because he's our example. It reminds us that Jesus died and came back again. And that's why we get to have new life. And that's what baptism is all about, is showing everybody that we believe in Jesus. Wow. And yeah, it's beautiful. And it's important to remember that baptism isn't what saves us. No, it's not... Uh, what saves us from sin and death. Baptism is not what God gives us life with God forever. Only faith, believing in Jesus, can do that. Baptism is a picture that shows others who we are. Followers of Jesus. We talked about this last week. Yeah, last week we talked about this. And if there's, this is something you've never done, but you have accepted Jesus as your Savior, Think about getting baptized on November 14th. You can sign up by going to engedichurch.com forward slash baptism. Yes. Now it's time to check out this week's Bible story. Ooh, I can't wait. We'll see you after. Hey, Engedi kids. We are about to do our Engedi kids chant. Are you ready? At Engedi kids, we know that God created us extra special. And each week, we like to remember that we were created uniquely on purpose with a purpose to love God, serve others, and tell the world. If you know the motions, make sure you do them with me. We love God because he first loved us. So we say, love God and we point up. We can serve others to show God's love. So we say, serve others with our hands out, like we're having a gift. Jesus wants to have a relationship with everyone, everywhere. So we say, tell the world and make a circle. Are you ready? Let's practice. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Let's try it one more time. Love God, serve others, and tell the world. Great job, everybody! What's your favorite kind of cookie to make? 
I'm a big fan of gingerbread. I love turning out the exact same shape over and over and over and over. You don't even have to be an artist to make gingerbread cookies come out just right. But the best works of art don't come from a mold. They're unique, original, one of a kind. And the greatest work of all time is you. God made you to reflect a little bit of who he is to the world around you. But he made you to reflect him in a way that's entirely different from your brother, your mom, your neighbor, or even that popular kid at school. God made only one you, and he made you on purpose. No one else in the entire world can fill that perfect spot he crafted just for you. And when you discover who God made you to be, you can make a greater difference in this world than you could ever imagine. That's why individuality is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Hey everybody, I'm Graham, and I've got to say, I'm super excited about today because we are talking about one of my favorite things. Candy! <laughs> Have you ever been to one of those candy stores that lets you put all of your favorite candies into one little bag? You can mix your jelly beans with gummy bears and top it all off with a handful of M&Ms. The M's stand for mmm. 
Mmm. And it's all made only for you, your one-of-a-kind candy bag. Everyone's different, after all. Some of you may like hot candy. Ha 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 Or maybe sour's your way to go. I need some water, please. Or maybe you don't like candy at all. Mmm. Now that's a good radish. We're all different, and that's not a bad thing. That's what individuality is all about. Individuality is discovering who you were meant to be so you can make a difference. We're all created to be individuals. That's why we all like different kinds of candy. Hey, what if we were created out of candy? Like what if my head could be made out of jelly beans? And maybe some, 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 some peppermints for eyes, yeah. Ah, uh, Laffy Taffy Nose. Twizzler Mouth. Twizzler? Twizzler? And of course, some hair. Looks just like me. Okay. Maybe we weren't created out of candy, but we were created. And in today's story, we'll learn about our amazing creator. Sounds fun, right? What? I was hungry. See you soon. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26 through 28. In the beginning, God took nothing and made everything. From darkness, God called out light. God poured out waters and stretched the sky far overhead like an unpainted canvas. He shaped dry land and canyons and great mountain ranges, and then decked them out with trees and vines and plants of every kind. God spun the moon and sun and stars and planets out into space. And then he filled the oceans with fish and the sky with birds. God thought up an amazing variety of animals to crawl and hop and race over the earth. All of this was incredible, unbelievable, the most artistic show of power ever. God made complex atoms and cells smaller than the eye can see, all the way up to vast spaces stretching across the universe farther than we can imagine. And yet, all of this was just a warm-up to God's most spectacular creation, people. People. It's true. We're made of the same atoms and cells and elements as rocks and plants and animals. But unlike anything else in God's creation, we are made in God's image. Then God said, Let us make human beings so that they are like us. Let them rule over the fish in the seas and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the livestock and all the wild animals and let them rule over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created human beings in his own likeness. He created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. You are made in God's image. Now that does not mean God shares your eye color or your freckles or even your quirky smile, but it does mean that you were designed for God to shine through you. You were made to show the world God's love, God's grace and mercy, God's joy, God's peace, God's kindness, God's wisdom. You and every person you'll ever meet are of infinite value because you're made in the image of God. And here's what's even more amazing. 
God didn't design us to turn into a bunch of little robots who look and act the same when we follow him. Instead, the more time you spend with God, asking him to transform your thoughts and words and choices, the more you become uniquely you. As you follow Jesus and reflect God's light more clearly, you'll be able to do the things that God has designed for you and no one else. So, next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're looking at the image of God and no one in this world can reflect him just the way you do. When God created the world, he saved the best for last. People. He made us to be like him. He made us in his image. Maybe that means God looks like us. Or maybe it means God made us with different qualities that could only come from him. Maybe God made you creative, like he's creative. Ooh, or maybe you're really smart because a smart God made you that way. You could be patient or kind, confident, or peaceful. And you could top it off with a handful of joyfulness. God is all of those things. And he's given them to each of us in all kinds of different combinations. So here's the one thing to remember today. You were made in God's image. Only you were made the way you are. You're one of a kind. There. I'm done with my new candy self-portrait. What do you think? Not bad. I look delicious. I'll see you next time. Mm. It's so amazing to think that God, who created the whole universe, made each and every person individually. There's never been the same person ever alive from the beginning of time until now. He took time to create everything oh. from air and light to plants and animals, and God saved his favorite creation for last. I mean, I hope it's his favorite. People. Yes. God made you in his image. He created you to be just like him. Why? Why? Yeah. Because God right. loves you and he uh, made you exactly the way you are with your own special, there's that word, individuality. individuality. You can use your individuality ha, ha. to show the world who <laughs> God is. And that's so true. Mm -hmm. And the bottom line that we have says you were made in God's image. God's love for others are for us because we are made in his image. We know that he loved us That's and he right. loves us. God has given us each the ability to show love to others. And you can do that like no other one. That's right. To show the people around you that God is in your life. You can show that to your family, your friends, your teachers. Ooh, yeah, everyone. Right, and you can use your gifts and your talents the way God uniquely made you to make a difference in the world. And I think we should do that this week, Miss Jane, yes. is go out and make a difference with your individuality. Yes, and before we go, do you want to pray for us, Miss sure. Jane? Sure. I'm going to ask God to help us. Lord, thank you so much for this lesson today mm. and how you have created everything, including us, and you uniquely made us. And we're all different, and yet we're all made to love you mm. and to love others with our individuality mm. and our gifts and our talents that you've given us. So thank you for helping us use them to do that, to spread the word of who Jesus is everywhere we go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you guys next time.